principle of design. If you wish to create interest, any repeating element should include a degree of variation. The principles of design describe the ways that artists use the elements of art in a work of art. Balance Balance is the distribution of the visual weight of objects, colors, texture and space. If the design was a scale, these elements should be balanced to make a design feel stable. In symmetrical balance, the elements used on one side of the design are similar to those on the other side. In asymmetrical balance, the sides are different but still look balanced. In radial balance, the elements are arranged around a central point and may be similar. Gradation Gradation of size and direction produce linear perspective. Gradation of color from warm to cool and tone from dark to light produce a aerial perspective. Gradation can add interest and movement to a shape. A gradation from dark to light will cause the eye to move along a shape. Emphasis Emphasis is the part of the design that catches the viewer's attention. Usually, the artist will make one area stand out by contrasting it with other areas. The area could be different in size, color, texture, shape, etc. Movement Movement is the path the viewer's eye takes through the work of art, often to focal areas. Such movement can be directed along lines, edges, shape, and color within the work of art. Repetition Repetition with variation is interesting. Without variation, repetition can become monotonous. The five squares above are all the same. They can be taken in and understood with a single glance. When variation is introduced, the five scores, although similar, are much more interesting to look at. They can no longer be observed properly with a single glance. The individual character of each square needs to be considered. Pattern Pattern is the repeating of an object or symbol all over the work of art. Proportion Proportion is the feeling of unity created when all parts, sizes, amounts or number relate well with each other. When drawing the human figure, Proportion can refer to the size of the head compared to the rest of the body. Rhythm Rhythm is created when one or more elements of design are used repeatedly to create a feeling of organized movement. Rhythm creates a mood like music or dancing. To keep rhythm exciting and active, Variety is essential. Variety Variety is the use of several elements of design to hold the viewer's attention and to guide the viewer's eye through and around the work of art. Contrast 
The major contrast in a painting should be located at the center of interest. Too much contrast scattered throughout a painting can destroy unity and make a work difficult to look at. Unless a feeling of chaos and confusion are what you are seeking. It is a good idea to carefully consider how to place your areas of maximum contrast. Harmony Harmony in painting is the visually satisfying effect of combining similar related elements. Adjacent colors on the color wheel, similar shapes, etc. Dominance Dominance gives a painting interest, counteracting confusion and monotony. Dominance can be applied to one or more of the elements to give emphasis. The elements of design Line Line can be considered in two ways. The linear marks made with a pen or brush or the edge created when two shapes meet. Shape a shape is a self-contained defined area of geometric or organic form. A positive shape in a painting automatically creates a negative shape. Direction All lines have direction, horizontal, vertical or oblique. Horizontal suggests calmness stability and tranquility. Vertical gives the feeling of balance, formality and alertness. Oblique suggests movement and action. Size Size is simply the relationship of the area occupied by one shape to that of another. Texture Texture is the surface quality of a shape. Rough, smooth, soft, hard, glossy, etc. Texture can be physical, tactile or visual. Color Also called hue. The 12 per color wheel below is based on the three primary colors. Red, yellow and blue placed evenly around the circle. Between the three primaries are the secondary colors, green, orange and violet, which are mixtures of the two primaries they sit between. The tertiary colors fall between each primary and secondary. Between yellow and orange, for example, is yellow-orange, between blue and violet, is blue-violet and so on. All the colors around the outside of the color wheel are called saturated colors. They contain no black, no white and none of their complementary or opposite color. Value Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. Value is also called tone. An element of art, value refers to the lightness or darkness of a color. Value becomes critical in a work which has no colors other than black, white and a gray scale. For a great example of value in action, think of a black and white photograph. You can easily visualize how the infinite variations of gray suggest planes and textures.